Well, scientists are asking swimmers to stay alert after shark attacks in Hawaii and Florida. A shark seriously injured a woman off the coast of Oahu on Friday. The same day, two teenagers and a woman were attacked in separate incidents just a few miles apart along the Florida Panhandle. Manuel Bajorquez is following this for us from Panama City Beach. That's along the Florida Panhandle. So what have experts told you about what could have led to these back-to-back -back attacks? Well, as you know, shark attacks are considered to be rare. To have three people in the Panhandle area uh, be injured in just one day, that's even more rare. But experts say a few things may be at play. One is populations of sharks that were considered endangered due to conservation efforts. Well, they're starting to bounce back those populations. What does that mean? more sharks in the water. But also if the prey that those sharks are after, schools of fish or other sea life, decide in their normal migration patterns to come closer to the shore, where there you have the possibility of those sharks interacting with human beings. So how are officials working to prevent any more attacks there in Florida? Well, they closed down the beaches as soon as those attacks happened on Friday. They have since been reopened, uh, but they want people to heed the warnings and especially learn about the flags that are uh, flying behind me there, the types of warnings that those flags represent. For example, that purple one means there is sea life in the area that could be a threat to humans. Uh, people are still having a good time out here, laying out on the beach, uh, but I think there is a sense of, of caution about going into the water, and that's what officials are hoping that people will do. Just think Think about it twice. If you don't want to go in there, just don't. Yeah, what, what are you hearing from people there? I mean, I know that there are going to be a lot of people who are watching right now who are going to think, I am not going anywhere near that water if there are sharks there. But like you said, it is rare. So generally, what's the sentiment? Look, no one is saying don't go to the beach and don't go into the water, but there is always going to be that risk. So what they're having people, asking people to do, urging people to do is just to be vigilant. Look at all the warnings that are up at the beach you're going to. Maybe Google it before you go there to see if there have been any attacks in recent days. Just arm yourself with information and then make that judgment call for yourself, whether you want to be in there, whether your children are going to be in there, whether you decide to just wait in. Those are all calls that people will have to make themselves. Okay, Manny, thank you.